All right, Miss Doss, I'd like to ask you a few questions. How many concerts have you been to? I've probably been to 10 concerts. 10, okay. Yeah. And how many concerts have you been to? I think I've been to three concerts. Okay. That's it. I've been to about 20 concerts in my life. Uh, oh, and I've been to probably 10 concerts. Oh, good lord. Too many to count. I'm going to say... Like an exaggeration. Oh, I think it's exaggeration. Hyperbole. Hyperbole. Ooh, I'm going to say 5,217. I have been to about three concerts. All of them were when I was much younger. And how many concerts have you been to? Three. In my lifetime, I've only been to about four concerts. Okay. Yes. Uh, too many to count. Probably, you know, since I direct concerts, probably maybe 20 a year. So I'm 34 years old. So. Um, 500 million? Okay. Alright, thank you. Ooh, maybe 10? Okay. Mm, gosh, that's a difficult one because I love classical music, so I've been to classical music concerts since I was a child. Mm -hmm. Probably over 20? Um, I've been to quite a few. Approximately around... 35 to 45 concerts? Mm, gosh, probably like 20. Okay. Maybe more. In my whole life? Wow, that would be hard. I would have to count. So my first concert I went to was like when I was 16 years old. And since then, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 concerts? Maybe probably around 22. Okay. No, I'm not a big concert goer, maybe 10. Probably over 25. Over here? Yes, ma'am. Counting the one I'm going to on Sunday at the rodeo, 15? 15. 15. Hey guys, it's Ms. Hampton again. We are going to talk about, this time, some graphs for numerical data. That would be um, data that when you answer a question, it is with a number, this time not a word. So again, split your page in half. There's two of these. The first one is a dot plot. So dot plot is a lot like a bar graph um, or a pictograph, but instead of having categories across the bottom that are words, like Italian, Mexican, burgers, and Japanese, we're going to have numbers across the bottom because it's a number line. So we'll draw a number line across the bottom. Um, and we're going to use the data that um, Leah asked our teachers about the number of concerts they've been to. So if we ignore uh, Ms. Broughton's 5,217 concerts and Ms. Campos' 5 million con 500 million concerts, then we're just going to do our number line from about 0 to like 40. 0 to 40. And you don't have to put 40 tick marks in between. I'm just going to count by like fives probably. 20, 10. 30 is counting by tens, and I'll put one more little set of tick marks in between so we can count by fives. All right, so for you will need a key for this. Um, I'm going to say, since we didn't ask that many teachers, that each time I put a dot, that that dot is going to equal one teacher, or one concert maybe in this case. Okay, so we'll go through. Um, we had three teachers say that they went to three concerts. So at about three, I'm going to put one, two, three dots. We had one teacher say four, so I'll put a dot at four. We had three teachers say that they went to about ten concerts, so we'll put one, two, three dots. We had uh, one teacher say they've been to about fifteen. Another one say about 17. Three teachers said 20. Two said 25. One said 30. And one 35. So get your dots placed on there. Pause if you need to. Um, when you're done, this will look kind of like a bar graph. You can see that some of the most frequent um, concert numbers is like 20 or 10 or even down here at 3. Um, 
answer questions kind of the same way that you do with a bar graph. All right, the second type that we're going to use the same data is a stem and leaf plot, which you might remember from fourth grade. All right, so for stem and leaf plot, we're going to set it up so it looks kind of like a frequency table. It's like a t-chart. These are called stems and leaves. All right, we're going to need a key for this too um, to tell what place value position each one of these columns represents. So you can decide that this is the ones place and this is the tenths place or the tens and the ones, the hundreds, the tens, whatever it is that you need. In our case, since most of our numbers are two digit numbers, um, I think it makes sense to do tens and ones. So I'll make a little key up here. It says if I have a number like one, four, that that means 14, not 1.4 or 0.14. All right, so we're going to put our data in here. Um, when we have zero tens, start with that. We have a couple of numbers that have zero tens. We have these threes and the four. So we're going to put, we have three threes. So we'll say zero tens, three ones. Zero tens, three ones again. Zero tens, three ones again. Zero tens, four ones. So this tells me so far I have a three, a three, a three, and a four. Now if I do one ten, I have a couple of numbers that have one 10 and then some ones. I've got some 10s, I've got a 15 and a 17. So we'll say we had three 10s, that'd be one 10, zero ones, zero ones, zero ones. There's three of those. We had one 10 and five ones. And we had a one 10 and seven ones. So far this shows we have three, 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 four, 10, 10, 10, 15, 17. All right, if we have two 10s, we had a couple of those. We had some 20s and some 25s. There were three 20s and two 25s. And then we had two that had three 10s, a 30 and a 35. All right, so that's an example of some numerical data graphs, dot plot, and a stem and leaf plot. A little note at the bottom, these two are used for data. that answer a question with a number, not a word. All right. 20 a year, so I'm 34 years old, so um, 500 million. Okay. All right, thank you.